What's up, y'all? I say it. What's up, y'all? Look at me when I'm talking to you, bro. Nah, I'm just messing with y'all, man. This your boy, Knockout Boxing 86 TV, and we in here. So check this out, bro. Before we get going on our video, smash the like button. Excuse me. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Share the video. Turn on your notifications. And go follow me on Twitter at KO Boxing 86 TV. If you got a breakdown or a prediction you want me to do, Knockout Boxing 86 at Yahoo.com is the email address. And don't forget about our live shows every um, Wednesday night, 7.30 p.m. Central Time. Every Thursday night, 7.30 p.m. Central Time. Then you can also catch me live with the singing OG KQKC Boxing Network Sunday mornings, 9 a.m. Central Standard, Standard Time. But let's go ahead and get it popping. Let's get into our video. And today, we got Natasha Jonas versus Marie Eve DeKett. Women's super welterweight, 154 pounds is where they fighting for the WBC, WBO, and IBF World Championships, bro. Jonas is putting her WBO and WBC on the line while Marie Eve DeCare is putting her IBF on the line. Now, Jonas is a minus 500 favorite on the money line. DeCare is a plus 350 um, underdog on the money line. Both women are past their prime. Eve DeCare being 36 years old. Natasha Jonas being 38 years old. Both of them are southpaws. Jonas is taller at 5'8", while DeCare is 5'7". Um, DeCara does have a 71-inch reach. She's 18 wins, one loss, uh, one knockout on her record, and her one loss came to Cl uh, Clarissa Shields. Jonas is 12 wins, two losses with one win, one draw, eight wins by way of knockout, and she herself has been knocked out one time. Now, Marie, they're both very similar. Southpaw boxers looking to land their straight left, nice right hooks. I think Jonas goes to the body with her right hook a little bit better, and her foot placement is a little bit better as to where she doesn't get caught reaching a lot. She she allows herself to be more of a counter puncher and catch you coming in. Um, the question I got with both of them is the legs, man. We saw Jessica McCaskill look like she lost her legs overnight, bro. She looked like she lost her legs, and the younger fighter, Chantel Cameron, was able to take advantage of that and dominate Jessica McCaskill. Natasha Jonas at 38 years old, can she still be on that back foot? Can she still box the way that she used to box? Does she still have the time and the explosiveness to land that nice straight left hand that she's always got? Um, while she looks like she's the more power puncher, she's coming all the way up to fight at 154. This was a lady that fought Katie Taylor before, bro. Down at lightweight. Now she's 21, you know, 19 pounds heavier up at Super Welter. The power that she had at those lower weight classes. Can she carry it up against somebody like um like Marie Eve to care, bro? Marie Eve to care. She she's looking for the same type of punches. I just think Natasha Jonas has always had just a little bit better skills. She, her timing was always better to me. Her um her foot placement and her balance is better than Marie Eve to cares to me. And so if if they in a prime, you gotta go with Jonas. But will the two year age gap make a difference? The care 36, Jonas 38 years old. It's very hard to it's very hard to tell. Women only fight two rounds and I mean too many rounds and in a fight where it's pretty evenly matched, in my opinion. You gotta ask yourself, what do you what do you think is gonna happen? What do you think is gonna be the key to the fight? And I think the key to the fight is that I think Natasha Jonas is probably gonna land the crisper shot. I think they'll both have their moments, but I think Natasha Jonas, her left hand will pop the care's head back a little bit more. She'll catch the care on the way in, and her foot placement and her balance will be better. She'll do more body work. And so I think Natasha Jonas will probably bag some rounds early, but I expect the care to probably have a gas tank a little bit better than Jonas's because she is two years younger, and so make it competitive late. But I think Jonas will build up a big enough lead and be competitive enough in the back end to where, although she may drop a few rounds here and there on the back end of the fight, I think her lead will be substantial enough to where Natasha Jonas will win the fight. So I got, I think her straight left hand is going to pay dividends. I think she'll land the crisper, cleaner shots. I think her balance and being more of a disciplined boxer and not falling over her front foot nearly as much as what we see from Maria Eve DeCare, I think that's going to come into play and help her um, outbox this, 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 um, this, this lady for long spurts of the fight. And so I think the first five rounds, Jonas may win four rounds to one with the care coming back and maybe winning like three, three of the last five, um, three of the last five rounds. And I think Jonas will end up getting a decision like 97, 93. 
97, 93. One scorecard may even say 96, 94. It's going to be a close fight, but I'm going to go with the favorite in this one, man. I got Natasha Jonas by a unanimous decision in a close fight, 97 to 93 on a couple scorecards, 96 to 94 on another. Y'all let me know who y'all picking, man. Comment down below, smash the like, subscribe to the channel, share the video, turn on your notifications, and go follow me on Twitter at KOBoxing86TV for breakdowns and predictions. Knockoutboxing86yahoo.com is my email address. Um, and yeah, man, live shows, man. Be sure to check them out, bro. We we going live tonight. So check out our live tonight, Wednesday night. We live tomorrow night, Thursday night. And you can also catch me live Sunday mornings on KQKC Boxing Network. Appreciate y'all watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. And with that, we up out of here. Peace out, y'all.